Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, so I'm back with a different eye look from a palette that I just now got um, that I ordered over on Black Friday and it's re-released from ColourPop. So I thought we'd go ahead and get started and I go through the look with you. I do have on the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh and this is in the light 55 neutral shade. And then I do have that on with the Super Goop uh, Glow Oil with the SPF of 50 in there. So I have those two on. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the cheeks, I went ahead and added in quite a few colors here. Okay, so um, let's see. I went ahead and started out with the Let's Dance by ColourPop. And I went ahead and added in the, um, let's see, Magic Hour by uh, Elf, the Halo Glow. So I had these two on. And then I did go ahead and uh, use highlighter, the Master Chrome by Maybelline. And this one is in Molten Peach. So that's what I have on there. And I think that worked out pretty well. Um, I did go ahead and use a combo let's see for the lips as well and what I did there was I used um, two uh, lip liners the Good and Plenty from ColourPop and also let's see this uh, Minuteman shade as well so I have both of those on the lips as well as let's see the Hard Candy this is my type gloss and also the NYX um, Instant Filler Gloss as well. So have a lot of stuff going on the lips there. Yeah, that's how they kind of turned out. And then uh, what I did for the eyes was I went ahead and used the Sweet As Can Be palette. And this came out, it's been re-released two or three times. I didn't pick it up until Black Friday, so I thought that it would be fun to go ahead and play with. And I put just about all the colors on. I started with this in my crease. I used this on the inner corner and right under the brow. Um, let's see, I used this right below the brow as well. And I did go ahead and use the green all over the lid. Um, and then I used some of the red on the outer lid or on the outer corner. And what I ended up doing was grabbing some Super Shocks by ColourPop as well. And this is the Up Late one. And I went ahead and put this uh, right on the brow itself. So I have some of that. It's acting sort of as a topper. Um, because it, it doesn't have a really, uh, it doesn't have much of a base, so it's really been a topper for the other shadows. And then I did go ahead and use some of this green color. It's another super shock, and I went ahead and put it right on the inner corner there. So I do have the this green on the inner corner, and then uh, this green right in the middle of the lid and this green on the outer part of the lid and that's all right down you know right near the eyelashes so that's what i have on there i did go ahead and use one of the color pop green eyeliner pencils as well this way that the look turned out so i'm really liking this palette i think it hits a lot of really good notes and um definitely is a fun everyday palette that you can go ahead and get a lot of looks out of. So if you don't have it, I would suggest picking it up and the packaging is just absolutely cute. Oh, uh, I know what I forgot to tell you about the bronzer. So um, did go ahead and pick up this Curve Case by Made by Mitchell. And this is the light one. Um, it's all cream products in here. As you can see, I have a big dip in this one. I'm really liking this as a bronzer contour. And then I did go ahead and use a combination of these two blushes on. And then I put the rest of the products on top. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I put the rest of the products on top. These actually pulled a little warm, um, almost pink, not really, but enough that I felt that I really needed to get out some other products and go ahead and get it going back into more of a peachy kind of feeling for this particular look since the eyes um, go ahead and pull so uh, so golden and um, golden and terracotta and golden terracotta and green and so this was pulling a little bit too pink so I went ahead and added in the magic hour and the let's dance to kind of pull it back into the peach kind of area. And then as far as what I did for uh, the setting powder, I went ahead and used the Physician's Formula. This is their Butter Glow in the Translucent shade. And it is baked. It's marbled. Um, it actually has a lot of green in it that I didn't really see. Um, this is my second one. I actually repurchased this, and I don't remember the first one having as much green in there, but the green would actually help to cancel out any red that you have going on. So, um, again, a really pretty baked powder formula from Physicians Formula. I think it's a dupe excuse me, for some of the um, Hourglass the Universal Powder. It really seems like a dupe for that. And so that's what I have on. I think it turned out kind of fun. Um, I did kind of, I redid my hair. It's a little bit darker, but I'm kind of liking it at this point. It's kind of giving me a real winter kind of um, canvas to work on. So uh, that's what I went ahead and did and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you're having a happy holiday and I'll see you later. Bye.